All right, here on Hard Working Man, we do everything outside. We're gonna bring it to you. I'm gonna throw some sweet potato fries down in the outdoor fryer. We got some venison burgers for the flat top. We process all of our own wild game. With our venison, we keep a lot of the burger just venison, just pure venison. That's for tacos, lasagna, you know, any casserole, stuff like that. But when I make burgers, I like to pre-patty them. And instead of putting some pork fat or some beef tallow or anything in with the burger, when, just for burgers, for either grilling on the flat top or whatnot, I grind some bacon in with them. It's amazing. That's what we got tonight. For the burgers, you get you some of this Weber Flavor Bomb Burger Seasoning. It's amazing. You hit that on one side, the famous Dave Steak and Burger Seasoning on the other. Then I got a little bit of the Grill Mates McCormick Sweet and Smoky. That's going to go on some broccoli that we're going to hit up on the flat top. And then just some garlic salt we're going to do on some asparagus. Works great. Not a huge outdoor fryer. When you got a big family, that's next to the flat top for a reason, because sometimes I got to cook in batches. So I'll get one batch done, throw it on the flat top on low heat. It keeps it warm, keeps it crispy. It doesn't get soggy, it doesn't get cold, and a little bit more oil comes out of it. If you got a big family, this big flat top is the way to go for cooking. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, you got sliders, you got everything you can cook on this thing. I got the char broil kettle grill over there. It's like the green egg, only the cheap version. Got a browning propane smoker. That is on its way out. I'm gonna be building a smoker out of a holding cabinet. That's what I originally bought, but it's not insulated. That's more just outdoor storage. I got my hardwood charcoal and whatnot in there, but I've got an insulated holding cabinet in the garage. That's gonna become my new smoker. So right now we're just gonna get to dinner Get these burgers going, get the asparagus, the broccoli, and some sweet potato fries. You work hard, you eat good. If you guys process your own game, this works out great. I take the burger patties, patty them up before I freeze them. A little bit of freezer paper in between them. We're a busy family. My kids play sports. We're always running. Sometimes we don't think to put anything out for dinner. You can cook these on a flat top or a grill straight from frozen. Instead of just putting it, you know, in the bags or vacuum seal and just a lump of venison, you pre-patty these. Anytime you get in a pinch, need something for dinner, you can either grab these out, grab some brats out that you made, quick and easy. They're somewhat thawed, we got these out this morning, not all the way thawed, but you can cook these straight from frozen if you need to.
you're done with that on the fryer, you throw it on the flat top like this. If you got to cook another batch, you just dump it out on the flat top. Huge help with a big family. One last tip before we eat, a lot of people use butter to grill their buns. You throw a little mayonnaise on there, gotta be Hellman's, it's the only mayonnaise I like. You throw that on there, grill it up, these buns are gonna be beautiful and amazing. I usually do use a lot of butter to cook on the flat top. We're out right now, so. But I always use the mayonnaise for the bun grilling. Like I said, you get that mayonnaise on those buns, they come out beautiful. You get some sweet potato fries and that's sweet and smoky, it's amazing on broccoli. You get a little bit on uh, sweet potato fries, it's amazing on those also. I'm one of those guys, I go into the store and I hit the seasoning aisle and I buy anything that looks good and through the years I find what I love and this is one of them.